Happy Homecoming Week, Clay Chalkville. This is the morning rundown for September 13th of 2024. This week has been filled with many activities expressing school spirit and unity among teachers and students. Reporters Cornelia Smith and Decorian Barber hit the halls and classrooms to talk to students and teachers about homecoming. Three, two, one. I'm Decorian Barber. I'm Cornelia Smith, and this week we will talk to students and faculty about what they love about homecoming. Perfect. One thing I like about home being, well, for as a football coach, I enjoy the game, um, but I think it's good for student body to get involved in all the different festivities that go along with it, such as decorating hallways and all the fun that they get to have outside of school, whether it be uh, decorations or anything like that, but as long as the football players it, get to bed on time. Uh, personally, I like homecoming. Um, I like what it's supposed to be about. You know, a lot of alumni coming back for our game. Um, is there anything y'all would change? Like, what would y'all change? Like, what y'all feel? We need more activities and stuff like that. We don't really got, it's like really nothing to do. Yeah, yeah like what he said, you feel me? It really nothing to do with Clay. It's really bond. You feel me? Yeah. For real, for real, I just said we need to make it longer. Make it like, as like we don't got to come to school, but like we still can join, you know? Dress up days are days that students and teachers look forward to doing during homecoming week. Hi, I'm Caitlin Noted, and I'm here at Josiah Burnett. What do you think of this week's homecoming themes? Um, I think they're really nice. What all did you participate in? Mainly just the uh, color scheme, because that's the easiest one that I can do. Wow, I love the orange. You excited for the game? Mm, somewhat. Who do you think you're going to win, Clay or Shade Valley? Probably Clay. Well, I'm Caitlin Noted, and I'm sending it back to the desk. Homecoming week will climax Friday when the Cougars return to the field to battle the Shades Valley Mounties. Sports reporter Dorian Dandles has more in sports. I'm Dorian Dandles, and today I'm here with Coach Burdett. Uh, so Coach Burdett is a new teacher uh, here at Clay Chalkville and also assistant coach for the football team. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Yes, uh, Clay Chalkville graduate in 2012. Uh, so this is home for me. I've actually been teaching at the middle school uh, for the past few years. I've uh, always been coaching here at Clay Chalkville High School though. Uh, I've helped out with baseball, but I've um, been on the football field, uh, I believe, seven years here at Clay Chavo High School. So, I've known this guy for a little while. Yeah, all right. So, Coach B, uh, tell us a little bit of expectations for the football team this year. Uh, football, obviously, coming off a big uh, time of year last year. Uh, the expectations are the same. You want to uh, get better every single week, try to um, judge yourself from last week into the new week and, and see if you can continue to get better and continue to win ball games. And um, obviously, if we can win it all again this year, it would be pretty, pretty nice. All right, and that'll be all for Coach B. Let's kick it off to Jay and Mackenzie. We're your varsity cheer captains, and we're coming to you with the Game Day Rundown. And as you already know, it's homecoming. And our varsity football team will be taking on Shays Valley Mounties right here in our home stadium at 7 o'clock p.m. This week's theme is Cougar Spirit, so come out and wear your best Cougar gear. All right, that's it for the Game Day Rundown. We'll see you all next time. And like always, go, go Cougars! Cougars. <laughs> <laughs>